Hi, I just wanted to put a quick video together um, to show you how to uh, do a hack or work around um, uh, with the E360 VR camera uh, to get it to auto-correct the horizon level um, uh, when you stitch the video together. Um, out of the box, the camera doesn't allow this. Um, it um, the, the the horizon leveling is bad is is kind of all badged into one function, which is the image stabilization. Um, and unfortunately, at the moment, the E360 VR camera doesn't um, generate a image stabilization file um, when you do a time lapse. So um, so there's a, currently using the software. Um, if you take a time lapse, the only way uh, you can't do it using the e, e, um, software. You would have to use a third-party uh, piece of software to be able to do that. Um, uh, so it's a fairly easy um, workaround, uh, and so I'll quickly um, step through it, and uh, hopefully um, it'll work for you. So um, on the ca uh, on the screen at the moment, I've opened ye, uh, the E360 Studio, which is the latest version. Um, and I took a time lapse earlier um, out of my uh, upstairs window and purposely uh, raised the tripod um, uh, mount it was sitting on um, uh, on one side to, to make it off center so that the horizon was not level. And as you can see from this screen, um, as I pan round, you can see that the horizon is uh, quite a way off. Um, quite a way off being level. So um, if we look at the stitch settings, I shot it in 5.7K. Um, but when I come to stitch, if I click on the stitch EIS, which is um, where it normally, um, it does image stabilization, but it also will do the horizon leveling, it will come back say no corresponding IMU file. And that's because it just, when you do a time lapse, it just does not generate a, a IMU file for the time lapse um, videos that it creates. Um, so that's that that's slightly annoying because um, uh, a lot of the times when you're doing time lapse, um, you, you it's very difficult to know whether or not your um, your camera is uh, perfectly aligned on all axes to uh, to to give you that. Um, uh, level horizon and uh, uh, and afterwards it's then if you haven't got that right it's very difficult to um, to fix it so this this little hack or workaround um, shows you how you can trick this Y360 studio into thinking it's got a stabilization file um, and uh, and ho hopefully you'll be able to use that um, to, to get nice level time lapses um, okay so First things, um, let's just delete that out of that list and um, go to, to where my files are. So the trick is, is to, um, before you do your time lapse, so you've, you're set up, you've put your E360 onto a tripod um, and you're about to start your time lapse. Now, what you need to do um, is before you do that is you need to record some video so not time lapse just normal video just for two or three seconds um, that's all but it needs to be at the same resolution that your time lapse is going to be so if you're going to do a time lapse for f in, that's in 5.7k you need to record some video in 5.7k and it's important that you don't move the camera or the tripod in any way um, between doing the video and the time lapse. So normal um, rule of thumb is is that if you set up for a time lapse, put the camera on the tripod, point it towards uh, whichever direction you want when you're happy. Get in, uh, go into the video, um, record a few seconds of video, stop it, and then go straight into time lapse, um, and then start your time lapse. But obviously both the video and the time lapse need to be of the same resolution. So once you've done that, 
if you move to another location or um, you need or, or you move the tripod in any way you would need to repeat that you would need to um, to, to do an, um, another short video um, before you do the time-lapse um, if you aren't moving the tripod if you're just um, doing time lapses one after another and the lo and, and the actual um, location of the uh, of the uh, of the camera on the tripod hasn't moved then you only need to do that video once okay so um, looking at the files that uh, I've taken off the the camera I took two um, uh, two two uh, um, uh, shots really one is a as I said a video for a few seconds beforehand and then I took a quick time lapse um, uh, as well so um, if we look the on here there's the 889 which is uh, ye VR which is video the video file um, which is uh, only a I think four seconds long and above that we've got the ye TL for time lapse um, which is the time lapse file. And, uh, as it happens, it is four seconds, but they don't have to match each other in, in duration. Now, in this list, you can see that there's an IMU file, but only one IMU file, and that belongs to the video. So that's YVR for video uh, and IMU. Um, easy um, way to do this is to. Um, take a copy of the video that you took the IMU so just highlight it do control C and then control V and it will create a, um, a copy of that IMU file which is the image stabilization file so what we're going to now do is go to the time-lapsed video that we want there uh, and we're just going to um, rename it By default, it'll only highlight the. Uh, it'll not uh, highlight the the actual .mp4, which we do want. So we want the whole lot. So you want to take the whole lot and do Control C or however you uh, right click and do copy. So we're going to take the the name of all of that, and then we're going to go to the uh, copied IMU file. We're going to rename that IMU file. And this time you don't want it to select the .imu, you just want to paste into there the actual name of the mp4 that you've just copied from. So now you can see, we've, I haven't returned it yet, but we've got a file that's called yeetl for time lapse 0892-360.mp4.imu, which is image stabilization. So now we've literally taken a copy of the IMU file from the video and we've now copied it, pasted it into uh, a file um, that is called the same as the uh, time lapse. Okay, so now we should be able to just uh, take that time lapse file, which is 892mp4, and drop it into the uh, E360 Studio. Um, so again, you can still see if the uh, horizon is is not level, um, but this time when we come to do the stitch settings, when we come to stitch EIS, if I click on that, it it now works. It doesn't give me the pop-up box and it enables it. Now, um, what you would do is just as normal, do stitch, tell it to the directory where you want it to go, um, and then it will create you. A stitch file. So previously um, I've already done this um, so I've now got two files I've got um, one when I, I stitched it to show how it looks um, without that uh, uh, rising correction or image stabilization which is this one and as you can see as it goes in it, the rising is, is totally way off um, if we uh, close that down, if we open up the other one, so this this one I'm going to open up now is the one that we've tricked it into doing a rise and correction by using an image stabilization file from the 
few seconds of video that we've done previously. Um, so we open that up, and as soon as we open that up, we can see that now the horizon's been fixed. It's no longer slanting from right to left. Uh, it's leveled it out. Um, and uh, that's it. It's as easy as that. Um, just to recap, so to um, before you shoot your time lapse, um, take a few seconds of video um, just before the same resolution of what your time lapse is going to be. Once you've got, if you can move that tripod or um, or you move to a different location before you do your time, your next time lapse, do another video. Once you've got that all back. Uh, onto your PC and you're going to do a stitch um, take the IMU file from the video file that you did prior to doing your time lapse copy it and change the name of it to be uh, to match the MP4 file of the time lapse that you've taken um, and then you should be able to just uh, put all of those files into the um, E360 Studio, enable the Stitch EIS, and then it will um, stitch them, generate an output file, and the horizons should all have been leveled out. So um, ho hopefully, uh, E Technology will um, uh, change the uh, the application uh, and the, the firmware of the camera in the future to allow um, image st stabilization to be recorded for time lapse. Um, uh, the, the, the issue is that I can understand not wanting image stabilization for the um, for, for it being seated on the tripod um, but uh, but obviously the um, the horizon leveling function is a is a is a really important function for for time lapse so um, that's it uh, hopefully uh, somebody finds this useful and um, I'll um, speak to you all soon thank you very much